In today's world, there is so much software available online that it's hard to know which programs are good and which ones aren't. And a lot of people pay for software without realizing that there are a ton of free alternatives to the things you do every day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my 10 favorite free programs that you can go try right now. Now, these are programs that I use every day, not just as a computer professional or an online creator, but some as just a regular Windows user. The majority of these programs I have used for years, and I can personally vouch for the quality of these programs because I've used them. Now, as of the filming of this video, they are all 100% free. If there are limitations in any of the programs, I will let you know when I talk about them. But overall, no trial software, no credit card needed, just free. Now, I'm not going to put these in any particular order because most of these I use pretty frequently, and I don't want you to feel like you have to get to the end of the video to find out the best program. Some of these I use every day, some I use infrequently. Some of them I'm so used to, I forget that I installed them, but I make sure anytime I get a new computer that these 10 programs go on there. And I'll put the links to all these programs in the video description so you can click on them and try them for yourself. So with that being said, here goes my list. So the first free program on my list is a competitor to the very popular Microsoft Office platform. Now, some of you may never need to create or edit a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation. And a lot of people think that if they have to do that, that they have to use Microsoft Office. Now, Microsoft does charge you $70 per year for the new 365 Office version that they have. And it's $99.99 a year to have those same programs for the family plan. But if you are a basic user who doesn't need advanced macros and a bunch of other programs that you're probably never going to use, you maybe just need to open a few Word documents or a few spreadsheets, there is a couple free alternatives that work perfectly. And I know this because I use them every day. The first one, and this is my personal favorite because I've used it for years, is called Open Office. It's made by a company called Apache who's been in the IT industry for years. And they have managed to make a program that just works pretty much exactly the way Microsoft Office does. And it's 100% free. So as you can see here, when you open the program, you can create a text document, an Excel spreadsheet, the equivalent of a PowerPoint presentation, drawing database formula a lot of the utilities that are included in microsoft office are included in open office and they just work as an example here i just opened up the default word equivalent program called writer and as an example i will just paste some content in here and you can see for the most part it looks pretty much just like a word document you have all of your formatting tools up at the top same as you would with Microsoft Word. And there's a little tweak in Open Office where if you go into your settings, you can tell it what type of document you want it to save as. And normally it would save as an Open Office document, but you could simply tell it to save documents as a Word document in .doc format. You can do the same thing with spreadsheets and presentations so that if you create or edit a Word document or a spreadsheet or a presentation, you can send it to somebody who has Microsoft Office and they can't tell the difference. It looks exactly the same. The best part about this is if you are a college student or whatever and your professor says you have to have Microsoft Office, you need to get clarification on that because what they sometimes mean is that you just have to have a program that can create Word documents or Excel spreadsheets. And as you can see, Open Office does this just fine. I could send this document to someone with Microsoft Office and it will open perfectly. They could make changes, send it back. You can't tell the difference. And if you can't tell the difference, why pay the difference? Another great alternative, if you don't want to use OpenOffice, is LibreOffice. Basically, it works the same. It's a free alternative to Microsoft Office. What I would definitely tell you is that before you go spending $69, $99 on Microsoft Office, try one of these. If they work for your needs, then save your money. And since we're talking about Office products in general, let me tell you about the other one that I really like, and it's called Thunderbird. Now, Thunderbird is an email client very similar to Microsoft Outlook. I have used this for years and it's 100% free. It's made by the same people who made Mozilla Firefox web browser. As you can see here, I have multiple email accounts that I've used for years. The functionality in this program is pretty darn near perfect. It does everything you need it to do, reply, forward, all that stuff. It's got calendar views like you would use in Microsoft Outlook. It's got task managers in here where you can put tasks and keep up with things. So as you can see, it pretty much does everything that Microsoft Outlook would do. And again, it's 100% free. So what I would tell you is just like trying OpenOffice or LibreOffice before you go buy Microsoft Office, give Thunderbird a try. 
It's got perfect Gmail integration, super easy. You type in your account information and boom, type in your password and it does everything in the background. At least give it a shot. If you don't like any of these programs, then go spend the money on the Microsoft Office and you'll have what you need. But if you don't have to, why should you? Another program that I use in a lot of my videos and people have asked me, what is that file copier thing that you're using? Well, it's a program called Supercopier, and basically it's just a replacement for the Windows default file copier. Let me show you why I like it. Now in this case, say I wanted to copy a good chunk of files from one folder to the other. Now normally when you copy files in Windows, you just get the Windows default file copier. And unfortunately, that doesn't really give you a whole lot of options besides pause or cancel. One of the things I love about Super Copier is it gives me complete control, especially when I'm copying multiple folders or multiple files from one location to the other. In any of the copy windows, you can unfold and see the entire list of files. You can sort whether you want to download the smallest files first, the largest files first, do it by directory, however you want to do it, skip individual files, which is something you can't do in the Windows file transfer, and it conveniently shows you each individual file as you go and the actual transfer speed that it's moving, and the transfer time is a lot more realistic than Microsoft's default file transfer. I've used this program for years. I absolutely love it. So download it, give it a try. If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it, and you'll go right back to the old Windows style. But I think you'll like it. Now, if you ask anyone that is in the IT industry, one name you're gonna hear over and over and over again is Malwarebytes. It is actually a pretty amazing program, and it is 100% free. Now, there are some caveats, and I'll talk about those in a second. I can't tell you how many computers I have fixed over the years just by running a simple Malwarebytes scan. It is just a fantastic program to have on your computer, and if you suspect that you might potentially have a malware issue or your computer's running a little sluggish, you can open it up and run a scan, and you may very well save yourself a service call. It's just invaluable. So the program is 100% free to download. It does come with a 14-day trial version, but let me explain to you what that means. You don't have to enter credit card or anything like that. It will just automatically go into trial mode when you install it. The difference between trial mode and free mode is that the trial mode for two weeks gives you full real-time access to Malwarebytes. And what does that mean? Well, basically what that means is the equivalent of the pro version, the trial version, runs in real time and scans your system as you use it. It automatically updates the virus or malware databases and keeps you protected. But not everybody necessarily needs that. So this is the interface for the program here. And if you are still in your two week free trial, you can click on the little person icon at the top, go to my subscription, and then you'll have the option to deactivate that free trial. And at that point, Malwarebytes will be free forever. Now, the caveat is that the free version doesn't update itself. It will sit down in your taskbar, but it won't do anything. It won't actively scan for malware or anything like that. You have to go with the pro version to do that. If you suspect that you have malware, what you can do is you can open the program, go into settings, click on check for updates, and then what will happen is, is it will then go download updates and then at that point you can scan your system for malware or spyware or anything like that so basically you have to manually update it but other than that it works perfectly and as you can see it only takes a couple seconds to update it and what i usually tell people if they decide to stay with the free version is just pick a day every month whether it's the day you make your mortgage payment or your car payment or your child support or whatever and just go ahead, take two seconds, update your malware bytes. And the reason you do that is because right now your computer may be fine, but a week from now, two weeks from now, you may have a problem on your computer. You may end up getting some malware on your computer that malware bytes isn't even looking for because the databases aren't updated. So if you continue to update manually, just out of routine, you're always going to have the latest updates. And then when you scan your computer, find malware, remove it, and then everything works fine, you just saved yourself a service call for a 100% free program. I love it, people in IT love it, it's a fantastic program and I absolutely recommend you get it. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate partner with Malwarebytes. I don't get paid anything if you stay with the free version. If you upgrade to the pro version, which again, scans in real time, so you just kind of set it and forget it. If you decide to stay with that pro version, 
I will get a tiny percentage of your purchase price, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just an affiliate link. But I would recommend trying the free version. If you like it, great. If you want to upgrade to the pro so you don't have to mess with it, even better. But it's a fantastic program and you should absolutely have it on your computer either way. Now, back in the day, there used to be a ton of diversity when it came to a particular file type a movie or a music file or whatever. And you had to have this program to do this and this program to do this. And as time has gone by, there's been a lot of free programs out there. I found this program many years ago. It's called Media Player Classic. The one thing I love about this is whether it's a audio file, a movie, basically any other type of, it can play DVDs, it can do everything with one simple free program. Now, the downside is that they have not released any new updates since 2017, but the program is still free to download and use. So I'll show you an example here, just a random video that I have. So as you can see here, it just works flawlessly like a video player should. One of the things I like about it versus some other programs is that it actually gives you frame by frame option. If you want to find that just that one specific frame, you can do that. You can resize the video. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And it's not just video. It plays music files. It plays pretty much every file format you'd ever want. Another free program that you can use that I think is just as good as Media Player Classic is VLC, Video Land Player. And it's been around for a long time. And the one advantage to this is that I do believe it does continue to get updates. So I would probably lean towards this one first just to make sure that you don't have any bad code that gets executed or causes an issue. But I've used both Media Player Classic and VLC Media Player for years. They both work great and they are both 100% free. Now, if you're like me and you end up with a ton of pictures on your phone and you want to be able to get them onto your computer, most of the time people just have to plug in a cable and then do the import and all that crap. And it's just such a pain. I found this program a while back called Photosync and I just love it. So basically the way it works is you install it on your phone and you install the companion app on your PC. And basically it has a very easy to use interface where you can go and browse the specific photos on your phone, choose which device you want to transfer it to, whether it's to your PC or to uh, Android phone or to a uh, tablet or wherever. And you can do it all across your personal wireless network. And it means that you never have to plug your phone in again. I love that because I could be sitting outside and transfer stuff to my computer and never leave my chair. Now, there's one caveat. The free version only lets you transfer files in standard definition, basically just a reduced image format. If you want to transfer your high definition, full quality HD pictures off your phone, I think it's a $5.99 one-time purchase, uh, but that's it. You own it for life after that. It's six bucks and you never have to plug your cable in again. And the other cool thing, I forgot about this, is you can send not just from your phone to your PC, you can send from your PC to your phone or to your tablet or whatever. So it goes both ways. It's just a really great program. It's one of my favorites that I've ever actually bought. And again, even if you just use the free version, which will let you send standard definition pictures, I highly recommend spending the six bucks. I don't make anything off of it. I just think it's worth it. Greenshot is a screen capture tool very similar to the clipping tool in Windows 10 and 11. I've used this free program for years and although it's very simple like the clipping tool, I just really find it more useful. It's got uh, all kinds of different capture methods, hotkey support and more. It's one of my favorites. Now Windows has a built-in zip extraction tool and it's not bad. Uh, years ago, I had actually switched over to WinZip, and that was a pretty cool program. It was free, but eventually it became Nagware, and after you used it so many times, you had to wait so long before you could continue to use it. And I found this program called 7-Zip, which is absolutely free, works perfectly the same, and I just think it's a better program. So that's what I use now. Now, this program may or may not be useful for you but if you do any kind of picture editing at all and you've heard of adobe photoshop this is an online alternative to that it's called photo p and of course it's ad supported but it is 100 percent free i use it all the time i use it for all my youtube thumbnails i absolutely love this program because i like photoshop but i like being able to manipulate pretty much whatever i want and you know, you can go in and replace graphics, you can resize stuff, you can do everything you can do in Photoshop in this program. 
all the layering, all of that stuff, all the filters, all the image adjustments, it's all in there and it's all free. Now, Driver Max has to be probably one of my favorite techie tools, but even if you're not a tech, this is still beneficial for you because if you have a Windows system, you have drivers on that system. And sometimes if you have to reinstall Windows, your Windows update isn't necessarily going to grab those specific drivers, especially if you have older or obscure hardware. This program allows you to back up all of those drivers. And then once you've done that, you can then easily re-import them after you've reinstalled Windows. Now, as I said, the program is free. There is one small limitation. It does limit you to two drivers per day if you're going and scanning for drivers that you can't find. There is no limitation on backups. And anytime you add new hardware, you should absolutely use this because it allows you to back up everything to a flash drive. And if you have to reinstall Windows and Windows Update can't find them, you've got them backed up through Driver Max. More importantly, there's so many driver programs out there right now that you really don't know which ones to trust. And I see all kinds of different driver programs on client machines. And I always recommend they use Driver Max because I've used it for years. I'm actually a paid customer, so I have unlimited driver updates. But even the free version, it's perfect, even if you only use it for backing up your drivers. Now, as with Malwarebytes, I am also an affiliate for DriverMax, full disclosure. So if you decide to go with the pro version and purchase it, I do make a small portion of that, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. But it's absolutely great, and I love it, even if you stay with the free version. So that's my list of my personal favorite daily driver software. Tell me in the comments below what kind of daily driver software you like, and maybe I'll cover it in a future video. And if you'd like to know more about Driver Max and what an amazing program it is and how it can absolutely save your tail if you have to reinstall Windows, watch this video right here and I'll give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to use the program, how to back up your drivers for free, and some other stuff that you might need to know. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.